Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross 2018 Review Practical, sensible, well-priced and moderately stylish, but undistinguished to drive and unlikely to leave a huge impression on the European crossover scene. What is it? Mitsubishi is bringing back an old name for a new car. The last Eclipse was a coupe designed for the US market and was never officially sold in the UK, but the Eclipse Cross is that most fashionable of things, a mid-sized crossover. In space terms it slots between the ASX and the Outlander and is further proof of Mitsubishi's determination to become an SUV specialist, the unloved Mirage is the only conventional car left in the European lineup. Having been developed before the company was absorbed into the Nissan-Renault alliance, this could also be the last car Mitsubishi ever develops by itself. It sits on the same basic architecture as the larger Outlander, its 4,405mm overall length meaning it's just fractionally longer than a Nissan Qashqai. Mitsubishi would prefer comparison with the Toyota CHR. Reckoning the Eclipse Cross's falling roofline and connected technology will help it appeal to younger buyers. Only one engine will be available from launch, a newly developed 4B41.5-liter four-cylinder turbo petrol producing 161 horsepower. The entry-level version will have front drive and a six-speed manual gearbox, plusher iterations offering a CVT auto and the option of all-wheel drive. A 2.2-liter diesel version, with standard AWD and a torque converter 8-speed auto, will be launched later next year. What's it like? Mitsubishi claims the Eclipse Cross is a radical new direction, but on first impressions the similarities to the company's existing products are more obvious than the differences. Styling is sleek and there are some nice details, but much is generic crossover especially the grey plastic wheel arch cladding used as visual shorthand for an everyday soft roader. Only the split rear screen, like that of the Toyota Prius but better executed, stands out as particularly original, allowing both the coupe-ish, roofline and decent rear headspace. Inside it's the same story. The quality of trim materials has improved by several notches over those of the ASX or Outlander, but there is still a large amount of dark plastic, and lesser used switch gear has been shunted into a hard to see block between the steering wheel and the door. We're told that standard UK spec will include a touchscreen infotainment system that can work with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but it doesn't have its own sat nav system. Space is good both front and rear, although the driving position feels slightly offset towards the center of the car. While a new petrol engine performs strongly, it has indifferent CO2 numbers compared to its cleanest rivals. There's lots of low-down torque and a purposeful if subdued exhaust soundtrack that makes the Eclipse Cross feel eager, even at trundling speeds. It's less keen to rev refusing to get within 500 revolutions per minute of its marked 6,000 revolutions per minute redline, but overall it still feels more enthusiastic than the claimed 9.8 second 0 to 62 miles per hour time makes it sound. It's hard to love the CVT gearbox, though. It's by no means the worst of its genre, but even with programmed stepped ratios to cut down on the food blender impression in full accelerator on carpet mode it still struggles to convince, slurring between its pretend gears. There's also noticeable surging at maneuvering speeds. Despite the super all-wheel control sticker on the rear window the optional four-wheel drive system is more about sensibleness than fun ensuring flawless traction but offering little obvious mitigation to the Eclipse Cross's understeer heavy handling balance, you'll be unsurprised to hear this is no Evo 7. Grip levels are respectable but the low-geared steering saps enthusiasm, and only the most rudimentary feedback gets past its electric assistance. The ride felt pliant over the few bumps I could find on the Spanish test route and cruising refinement is good, is good.